Welcome to another Sharticles, folks. Uh, Sharticles, Barry. Today we're surfing some tabs on a laptop of real shart for you. Mm. I've just seen the headline the first one. Yeah. We're off to a so strong start. Right. <laughs> Gloucester mum and daughter horrified at absolutely bizarre discovery in Asda freezer. But what could it be? The obscure object was so frozen and it is thought it had been there for some time. Oh, this, you're building the tension up. I love this. It's had 53 shares 53, and seven comments. 53 whole shares, my <laughs> God. A customer has put the boot into Asda, quite literally. Arn Han got off on the wrong foot hey. with staff at Gloucester's Bruton Way store when she spotted the erroneous item lurking in the ice cream freezer on Friday night. Well, it's quite clearly a, a foot thing of some kind, hence the boots. And the, yeah, but, yeah, the well, that's true. Thing. It might not literally be a boot. It could mm. be a trainer. Oh, it could be a limb. Right. It was a shoe-in okay. for taking high rank on the list of the most unusual items. You told us what it is yet, no. ever found in a supermarket freezer. After all this, it's not going to have anything to do with a shoe or a boot or anything, <laughs> yeah. is it? It's, it's going to be, be some like... peas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We couldn't believe it, said Alexandra 20. Uh, Alexandra 20. <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe it. I was looking forward to getting some ice cream when I saw the shoe. It's a shoe we got there in the yes. end. Yes. It was hard and proper frozen, so I was wondering how long it had been there. Oh, look at that. Yep, yeah, there is a... They're calling it both a shoe and a boot. I think it's technically a boot, isn't it? Oh, do you want to see how they dealt with this? I'm I taking notes. I should, should do. I went to get my ice cream from a different aisle. Wait, hey. that was it? Pragmatism. Her mum, who scanned their groceries through the till at 9.46pm, somebody's seen the receipt, managed to take a picture why of the boot. Why, why, why? It's not needed, is it? It's really extraneous information there. Which was only one of a pair. Where is the Ooh. other one? Could it, it be in your warm? local Asda? You will Have a look. Find out. Maybe it's a treasure hunt. Maybe it's a clever market employee. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> you win a holiday, a hiking <laughs> holiday. Yeah. It was on a shelf on its own below tubs of the supermarket's own brand Soft Scoop Vanilla, which it's retail too. at £1.35. It's a market employee. <laughs> we are marketing yeah. for Asda right now. Spawn. It doesn't taste like the devil's ass. It's delicious. It's Perhaps the customer is as tough as old boots or hot-footed it out of the store, probably walking with two left feet. This oh. is just getting ridiculous yeah. now. Let's soldier on and... Um... And as the spokeswoman said, they didn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, BBC News, look at this. Revenge burglars DNA found on cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is good already. At uh, Cardiff House. Jamie Simmons was sentenced to 16 months in prison after leaving his DNA on cheese crumbs. Sounds a bit like a euphemism. It's a little bit, yeah, there's a little joke there, but it's mm. not there. Mm -hmm. uh, a bungling burglar who targeted the home of his ex-girlfriend's mother in a revenge attack caught after his DNA was found on a block of cheese. He's 29 and left a trail of cheese crumbs when he stole a block of red Leicester from the Cardiff <laughs> home. I'm, I'm going to show her, I'm going to go and nick a bit of cheese. <laughs> wow. And it's 16 months for that. I mean, people do worse crimes. They do do uh, worse We crimes. don't know the full GD's uh, That's true, yeah. You may have taken some Wensleydale as well. City's Crown Court heard victim Lynn Patterson awoke to find broken glass and cheese on the floor. <laughs> there we go. What a combo. <laughs> Simmons from Canton, Cardiff, admitted burglary and was sentenced to 16 months in prison. Oh, is he in broken? Prison. Is, it's, um, what is it? Breaking and entering. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Jesus. You have to do it carefully. Oh, nice. Uh, Come on, Barry. Don't make me feel blue, jeez. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> come on, Bear. Hey! Here we go. Come on, Bear, anymore. Oh my it? God! Eat damn your eyes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh if these cameras God. are turned around the other way, we could say hello, me. Uh, now we're just shouting out cheese. Can everyone stop? <laughs> yeah. Shouting out cheese. Okay, we're milking it. Now, I don't think we? this could <laughs> get any worse. No. Oh. Uh, anyway. Could, could you stop? Oh. Uh, could. That was way too. Oh. Good. Uh. You should lock him up and throw away the brie. Hey. <laughs> Back off. Cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't to do with cheese. Ryan just really hates the place <laughs> cheddar. <laughs> yeah. Mozzarella with cheddar, it's great. Oh my god. Right, come on. Yes. We're putting our necks on the line here. <laughs> this week in Zoo News. 
Egypt Zoo accused of painting donkey to look like a zebra. Oh, wow. It's very, very well done if that is. Oh, no, he's got a smudged head. Mm. Is that why? Yeah. I like someone's put a bit of shoe polish on him. It's like a, like, a drunk woman with a lipstick. It's like a drunk donkey. <laughs> Aside from its small size and pointy ears, there were also black smudges on its yeah, face. that's what's giving it away, though. The pictures quickly went viral with experts weighing in on the species of the animal. A vet contacted by local news groups extranews.tv said that a zebra snout is black while its stripes are more consistent and parallel. That is a donkey, isn't it? Yeah, that really does look like a painted donkey. Wow. I mean, I've painted some donkeys in my time. <laughs> When contacted by local radio station Nogum FM... Oh, very good radio, that one. It's one yeah. of my favourites. Yeah. Zoo director Mohammed Sultan... I Sphinx, you... Is it Egypt? <laughs> it is Egypt, yeah. yeah. Well, I Sphinx, you, you'll enjoy listening to that Bastion's watches. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first time that the zoo has been accused of trying to fool its audience. Unable to find a way around the Israeli blockade, a zoo in Gaza put stuffed animals on display in 2012 because of the shortages of animals. Can you imagine that, going for a day out? Like, I'll take my kids out for a day out, and you're like, oh, you're going to go see the zoo, it's just literally animals. And like, they've got the workers going, <laughs> just beanie babies with massive eyes. In 2013, a Chinese zoo in Henan province tried to pass off a Tibetan mastiff dog as an African lion. <laughs> and in 2017, a zoo in Guangxi province disappointed visitors by exhibiting blow-up plastic penguins. <laughs> that is clearly a dog, this, this China <laughs> dog lion. That's one of those sexy looking dogs though, isn't it, to be fair? Oh, no. But it's not, um, you know, it's, it's like a... There are no like, sexy dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's not like a, a bland dog, it's like something interesting. You can see where, it, if you squint your eye... Oh my oh. God, the pop-up <laughs> penguins are astonishing. It's bright pink. They're just so awful. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, this is a pool special, this one, yeah, is it? Yeah, blimey, in two ways. Ghostbusters discover groans in cemetery they're investigating are from midnight porn film shoot. I don't know oh. what porn is, I'm innocent. So, I see. I know what Ghostbusters is. Yeah, uh, you do know what porn and Ghostbusters <laughs> is. Would you buy oh, yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my WhatsApp, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what happened there. You've Someone hacked my phone. <laughs> you yeah. you literally sent us Ghostbusters porn. So. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. They were going at it like rabbits. She was a blonde in her 30s and still had her knickers around her ankles. Oh, there's a headline. Beautiful. You can tell this is from the mirror, can't yeah. you? Bloody hell. Real life Ghostbusters discovered moans and groans in cemetery. Sorry. Real life Ghostbusters. Yeah, I think they mean. Does this exist? Uh, no. no. Ghost paranormal is. investigators. Yeah. The group were stunned to stumble across a couple having sex among the tombstones, surrounded by men filming with cameras and sound equipment. Well, it's basically like a Barshan shoot, really. What else are you going to film with? <laughs> yeah. Ironically, when the jury realised they were being watched by strangers, the woman reacted like she'd seen a ghost and bolted. Ah. She certainly had the willies put up her. Oh. <laughs> 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 the guy ran after her, desperately trying to protect his privates from the brambles. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the brambles are <laughs> Moira and Stephen Bramble. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. One elderly man was so incensed he was ready to chase after them with his walking stick. <laughs> but I persuaded him to calm down and eat his sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Skullcoats Neighbourhood Association Chairwoman Lorna Walker branded the sex scene very distasteful. I've watched it 15 times. <laughs> yeah. It gets worse on each show. Yeah. I love this caption. The disused graveyard is overgrown with ivy, possibly making it more comfortable for actors. Ooh, yeah. He doesn't want to lie with any stingers there or anything like that. So, yeah, there's a lot to Who is that bloke, though? Who is he? Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's the um, Mike. That's Mike from the TV show, from, isn't it? Yeah, from your ghost hunting history, do you know Mike Covell? Uh, is that the guy in the picture? Yeah. yeah. Looks really unhappy. I mean, all male Ghostbusters, A, look unhappy, B, are balding, and C, think what they're doing is the most important thing in the world. All of those things are accurate. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Drunk whacked penis on women's car, then did poo in street <laughs> wow. as they sat and ate chips. What? The women were enjoying a day out in red car. I don't think you can enjoy a day out in red car, but <laughs> when John Henson, 44 inches, began his bizarre campaign of lewd behaviour. Wow. I've got a campaign. It's more like just a brief Hang perversion. Hang on, answer a quick question to access this article. Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> we, we have to answer like a capture to read the article. Some Gazette Life. Which, Which of the, the following, following music streaming, streaming services, services have, have you, you heard, heard, heard of? YouTube, YouTube no, Spotify, of YouTube. SoundCloud, Apple Music, Google Play Music, Amazon Prime. I'm going to say none of the above, just to <laughs> yeah. fuck with their statistics. There we are. 
<laughs> wow, this is so full of pop-ups. It's amazing. Yeah, but that's like early days of the internet here. God. A drunk continually whacked his penis against a car and then did a poo on the floor. Wow. As the women inside the vehicle ate their chips. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Stop it. Oh, I thought it was with them. Like, wow. Driving. Without warning, as if there'd be a warning. <laughs> I'm about to open my trousers. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a multiple penis alert <laughs> with a poo rider. Without warning, he opened his trousers and began whacking his genitals against the car door. Teesside magistrates court heard. The driver called the I man... I hear him doing it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a court case. <laughs> the driver called the man a dirty bastard, which I, th I feel is fair in the circumstance, yeah. and threw some chips towards him, sh <laughs> shut a window, and then screamed for a mum, a passenger in the car, oh, to no. do the same. Prosecutor Rachel Dodsworth said Henson, 44, continued to wiggle his penis around, then tried to get in the car through the window. What is it wiggle it around? What, I mean, is there like a... Is that like a shimmy or is I'll that I'll show you a... later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still better than Jake Paul. <laughs> Panicked, the women shouted for Henson to go away. Oh my and gosh, KSI and uh, the Paul brother, they should do like a wiggle penis off. Rather oh, than wiggle. fighting, they should just do like sword fighting with their... Who's going to want to judge that? Somebody yeah, with a magnifying point, glass, yeah. probably. At this point, he dropped his trousers, turned and bent forward and did a poo in the street near the car. Oh my God. I... A probation report prepared about Henson said he was the inventor of Kermit the Frog. Oh, sorry, different <laughs> Henson. About Henson said he had been to a nightclub until 4.30 that morning. Wow. Carried on drinking alone until 8 a.m. and took cocaine before going to a friend's house. I mean, Kermit the Frog was happy to see him. We've all been there. Him. There's been quite a bit of a trend in my hometown recently of fake taxi. Do you know fake taxi? It's no. like a porn thing where people shoot porn in like a taxi that's obviously not real and it's staged and all that. But people, it's been cool to actually get like a fake taxi logo emblem on your car as a car sticker. So everyone's like, Ooh. yeah, my neighbour's got one. Sounds like that's... Uber. Frankly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure it's not like just an Uber truck. Se sexy right? Uber, but no, it's like a range of. Um, Eli's looking at me like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh. Pretty That's really weird. Yeah. It's like the in thing, I think, because everyone's like, oh, yeah, you watch his porn or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> make it. Don't know a lot about porn at all, do you? No, no. I, mean, I save it for WhatsApp. So. <laughs> yeah. Look forward to checking that later. Yeah. yeah. We got really dirty on that one, didn't we? Back to the Future porn. You guys told me about that, and then I, I think I went offline for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those sexy looking dogs though, isn't it?